You're watching Old Mates Backyard Tech. Well, this sort of has been on the cards. People have been asking for it, and people have been hoping it wouldn't happen. But Linus Travaldus is making some serious security upgrades to the Linux kernel. It's news time here at the Backyard Tech Channel. This one, Linux to get a kernel lockdown feature, which was approved by Linus Travaldus on Saturday. From the Backyard Tech Channel. This is BYT News. G'day everyone, thank you for tuning in. It is BYT News time here at the Backyard Tech Channel for Tuesday morning and I want to thank Dan Calloway for emailing me about this one. He wanted me to uh, wanted me to cover this one. Um, I've already read the story. Uh, I do have an opinion about it, but you don't need to worry. I'm not going to tell you what I think. Um, this is from ZDNet and I, act, I didn't even know this was on the card, so this is sort of really news to me about it as well. Let's get into this. Linux to get kernel lockdown feature. New Linux kernel lockdown module to limit high privileged users, even root, from tampering with some of some kernel functionality. After years of countless reviews, discussions and code rewrites, Linus Travaldus has approved on Saturday a new security feature for the Linux kernel named Lockdown. The new feature will ship as a LSM or Linux security module in the soon to be released Linux kernel 5.4 uh, branch where it will be turned off by default usage being optional due to the risk of breaking existing systems. Putting a leash on root account. The new feature's primary function will be to strengthen the divide between user land process and kernel code by preventing even the root account from interacting with kernel code, something that has been something that it has been able to do by design until now. When enabled, the new lockdown feature will restrict some kernel functionality, even the root user, making it harder for compromised root accounts to compromise the rest of the OS. The lockdown module is intended to allow for the kernel to be locked down early in the boot process, quote unquote, said Matthew Garrett, the Google engineer who proposed the feature a few years back. Quote, when enabled, various pieces of kernel functionality are restricted, close quote, said Linus Travaldus, Linux kernel creator, and the one who put the final stamp of approval on the module on Saturday. This includes restricting kernel access, uh, this, res this includes restricting access to the kernel features that may allow arbitrary code execution via code supplied by user land process, blocking processes from writing or reading slash dev slash mem and slash dev slash kmem memory, block access to opening slash dev slash port to prevent raw port access, enforcing kernel mode kernel module securities, and many others detailed here. Now, I'll leave a link in the description. This, no, I won't say anything. Don't worry, I won't. Two lockdown modes. The new module will support two lockdown modules, namely integrity, and, uh, namely quote-unquote integrity and quote-unquote confidentiality. Each is unique and restricts access to different kernel functionality. Quote, if set to integrity, kernel features that allow user land to modify the running kernel are disabled, close quote, said Travoldus. Quote, if set to confidentiality, kernel features that allow user land to extract confidential information from the kernel are also disabled, close quote. If necessary, additional lockdown mod modes can also be added on top, but this will require an external patch on top of the lockdown LSM. A long time coming. 
Work on the kernel lockdown feature started in early 2010s and was spearheaded by now Google engineer Matthew Garrett. The idea behind the kernel lockdown feature was to create a security, a security mechanism to prevent users with elevated permissions, uh, even that vaunted root account, from tampering with, with the kernel's code. <coughs> Back then, even Linux systems were employing secure boot, secure boot mechanisms. There were still ways that malware could abuse drivers, root accounts and user accounts with special elevated privileges to tamper with the kernel's code and by doing so, gain boot persistence and permanent foothold on infected systems. Many security experts have asked across the years that Linux kernels support a more potent way to restrict the root account and improve kernel security. The main opposition came from Travaldus, who was one of, the one of the feature's most ardent critics, especially in its early days. As a result, many Linux distros such as Red Hat uh, developed their own Linux kernel patches that, that added a lockdown feature on top of the mainline kernel. However, the two parties reached middle ground in 2018 and, and worked, work progressed on the lockdown feature this year. Jeez, I'll tell you what, I would love to say a few things about this, but I won't. Um, mainly because I will be held on. The quote, the majority of mainstream distributions have been carrying variants of this patch set for many years now, so there's value in providing... Hang on, start that again. Quote, the majority of mainstream distributions have been carrying variants of this patch set for many years now, so there's value in provi uh, providing a... So there's value in providing a doesn't meet every distribution requirement, but gets us much closer to not requiring external patches. Close quote, Travaldus said yesterday. Um, applications that rely on low level access to either hardware or kernel or the kernel may cease working as a result. Therefore, this should be of not be enabled without the appropriate evaluation beforehand. The news that the kernel, the news that a kernel lockdown module has finally been approved, has been greeted positively in the Linux and cybersecurity communities.